What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back, welcome back folks. Hopefully everyone's having an amazing Saturday night. So far as well over here, you know, we're getting ready for the Yukon games about 8.36 p.m. over here in beautiful Southwest Florida. We got the game kicking off in about 20 minutes. I'm a UConn fan. Hopefully UConn wins. It's going to be a tough game playing Gonzaga, but my money is on UConn. You know, I think if they get Gonzaga in a little foul trouble early on, that it's going to be another blowout just like the last game was. But we shall find out in due time. But in this video, we're going to talk about a new video coming out from Jimmy Valley about the buyback proposal and what he is looking to do. Things again, interesting. Looks like he's looking to open a bank and give out collateralized loans on your XRP. Uh, you got to listen to it. We'll go over it. We're going to hear from, uh, who else we got? I got a little video clip coming from Ark Investments talking about Ron DeSantis of Florida and how he wants to go towards the more crypto approach. We're going to hear from Tr Tim Draper and Anthony Welfare, who's head of Central Bank Digital Currency Engagement for Ripple. So without further ado, folks, let's jump into it. It's been a pretty flat day overall. We are looking like we ended the day in a little bit of green today. Bitcoin is coming in at 27,600, Ethereum 1,751, XRP 45 cents. It is important that we held above 43 cents for XRP. Let's look to get another push up to that 50 cent level. Bitcoin diamond is 45.69. Total cryptocurrency market cap is at 1 trillion 167 billion. Now, and his output this side because this confuses me a bit. It seems since JP Morgan is saying that the SEC is chasing innovation overseas. When the, when the largest correspondent bank is saying this, who is Gary Gensler really working for? And Bank of America has the same kind of feel here, the same kind of input. What's he talking about? He's talking about this tweet. It says, Bitcoin and crypto may be pushed to Europe and Asia by tough U.S. policies. And that's coming out of JP Morgan. Now, he has a very good point here. From everything we are seeing, from all the regulations and all the enforcement, it is seeming like the SEC has an agenda. Now, is the agenda to remove crypto entirely from the United States? I highly doubt that. Why? Well, because then the U.S. would fall behind. It's like saying that the U.S. wasn't going to get involved in the Internet and let the rest of the world be involved in the Internet when they know the rest of the world is going to be using the Internet. The rest of the world is going to be using crypto. You think the U.S. is going to miss out on this boat? Of course not. But what is the agenda? What is the bigger play here? It really seems to me like the SEC is trying to crack down and trying to take control of these markets. Are they going to be successful? I don't think so. And the fact of the matter is, is that Gary Gensler suing people like Justin Sun, what do they care? You think Justin Sun is ever going to pay the United States Security Exchange Commission any type of money? No. Do you think the SEC is going to sit there and fight with each and every one of the exchanges for two to three years per lawsuit and put all this money into it? Of course not. So what are they looking for, folks? And I think as this drags out, as the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit comes to an end, as the Coinbase lawsuit gets started, and I'm sure that will quickly come to an end, I don't see it lasting a full two and a half, three years like this Ripple lawsuit. We are going to start to get guidelines of what can be done and what cannot be done. At the end of the day, Gary Ginsburg wants to regulate staking. He will have every chance to regulate staking, and I have no issues with that. But if he's going to sit there and try to regulate what these exchanges can sell and can't sell and not tell them the rules, the guidelines, the laws, then we have a problem with it. And that is when you will start to see companies leave and push out of the U.S. because they don't know what's right and they don't know what's wrong. Now we get over to this All Invest podcast. Kathy Wood, she says, there are rumors that Ro Governor Ron DeSantis is going to work with the banking system in Florida and open them up more to crypto. It's interesting because we're hearing this statement, but just a couple of days ago, it was reported that Ron DeSantis was against CBDCs. Listen to this clip. Let me unmute. Here we go. There are rumors. I don't know if they're true. Uh, there are rumors that Governor DeSantis 
is um, going to work with the banking system in Florida, the state regulated banking part of the system, and open them up more to crypto. Uh, just like with your book, as, as, as we know from your book, taxes have consequences. Uh, if he were to do something like that or any other government, uh, then uh, I think you would see a huge migration of the crypto digital asset world into Florida and into Florida. I, think you're I would love to see it out here. Bring it. Listen, I would love to go to my bank and have them have my crypto. I'll tell you right now, I have no problem. If the bank is insured and a bank of them wants to hold my crypto and pay me out with it, I trust my bank more than I would trust an exchange to get crypto, right? Look at some of these exchanges people were out there staking on. People got destroyed. JP Morgan wants to be like, hey, Rip, give you 5%. Okay. Yeah, JP, there you go, guys. I'll give you some of it. Not all of it. Don't get me wrong. I won't give all of it, but I would, just, I would definitely give them some of it. Why not? It's a risk. It's the same risk that you take on these exchanges and when, while you stake, but why not have a risk that is actually that? Crypto Ray puts this out. It says, she it appears the XRP buyback is morphing into a bank. Looks like participants will still be sending their XRP. Not a game I don't want to play with my XRP. Listen to this. It seems like where most people would like this to go is not to basically sell it to the government in, in a buyback type of thing, but to basically collateralize a new bank, call it the People's Bank, not to sound like communist China, China. <laughs> you know, it, it's the people's bank and then use the value of those assets to basically draw down fiat and then do mortgages and stuff, you know, exactly. And because this bank is more liquid because it's got the XRP, you can, you can do things. So, you know, one thing you could do, yeah, one thing you could do is have a group of people come to an agreement that the fair market value of XRP is very high. Let's say $10,000. We could all come together, put our $10,000 tokens into a new entity, collateralize it, then use fiat loans against our XRP to go acquire gold and bring gold into the bank. And now all of a sudden when the collapse finally occurs, who's left standing with the gold and the XRP? Mm. the most liquid wealthiest bank there is so that's the game that everyone's trying to play right now the central banks are trying to do it you know everybody knows the power of this these digital assets yeah. that's why that's why the government is is uh is trying to keep us out of it right with the sec lawsuit yeah it seems like there are so many different ways that we can get to the destination mm -hmm. there's there's the whole buyback thing there's a multitude of other ways and this isn't anyone saying this is what's going to happen correct what we're saying is is that there are many ways we're going to get there but what seems to be the ideal outcome regardless of how it gets there is to start thinking like a bank working together collaborating with others and in trusted groups operate like banks and you'll come out the other side, regardless of how it gets there, buybacks, whatever happens or doesn't happen. It seems like thinking like a bank is the is the way to go. So this is the most beautiful. Uh, I don't know. Listen, whether you believe in what Jimmy's talking about or you don't is your own business, your own opinion. I this here's what I'm going to say. I don't understand it. Who? Is tell, who is giving you a loan that XRP is going to be valued at 10000 I will go there right now and give them five XRP if they're going to give me a collateralized loan that I can then go buy gold or whatever with for 50 k No problem. Who's, who's doing this? No one's doing this. No one would do this. And we already know there's only one price of XRP. The price of XRP is the price of XRP, folks. I mean, that's what it is. Joel Katz told us this. I'm not telling you this. David Schwartz told us this. Are there private ledgers and public? Of course. We know there are. The central banks are using the private ledgers. And then we have public ledgers. But it's still the same ledger at the end of the day, right? Tim Draper, not exactly Taylor Swift, but the message is clear. 
Tim Drake there sings his song, the Bitcoin Shuffle at the Paris Blockchain Summit. I'm not going to play you his song and put you through. You don't need to listen to it. But here is what's important. Tim Draper is the man that told you how this is all going to play out. First, they attack. Then they come after you. And when they're, doing, they're done doing all that, bing, bada, boom, they act like the, the problem was never a problem. Then they get on board, then they adopt, and then they start using. This is what's how it's all being played out with Ripple currently, folks. Earl Paul says Coinbase is really leading the way. What they have built is astonishing. and what they are still building is even more incredible. Can't disagree with him here. Coinbase is leading the way in the U.S. It's kind of sad that they only have 32,000 weekly visits to their website. Figured it'd be a lot more. Anthony Welfare from Ripple. Back in 2017, I joined the world of blockchain and presented my first ever blockchain, blockchain excuse me, presentation on the 14th at the tech meetup in BC Canada. Here are a few highlights. The fundamentals of blockchain tech has not changed. People still mystify blockchain. We're talking about Web 3.0 back in all the way back in 2017. The last three slides of the market cap increase. I was excited to tell people the market cap was 200 billion. I was here when the market was 200 billion. I thought it was going to fall back under 100 billion. Bitcoin was 8,000. Ethereum was 400. The good old days. And I, I'll be here until this market cap is 5 to 10 trillion, folks. I'm not going anywhere. XRP isn't going anywhere. Crypto isn't going anywhere. Know what you hold. Wash your damn hands. Be nice. Be kind with each other. But then we cool is out.